I have been asked how I have been able to live full time in my minivan in such a small space and what I do for storage. So in this video, I am going to share with you all how I stay organized in a small space and some storage hacks that I use living in a, living in a minivan full time. So let's get at it. One way to maximize space when living in a small space like a vehicle is everything must have at least two purposes. Everything I own, I buy things based on can I use it for multiple things. So this footstool here that I have that I spilled coffee on, um, this footstool serves more than two purposes. The first thing I use it for is to work. I sit here and I can tap, tap not tap, I can tap, <laughs> I can type on my laptop and I can work. This is the first thing, I'm seated on my bed and I can sit here and I can work. So that's the first purpose that this footstool serves. I paid $10 for this footstool or this stool at Bath and Beyond. The next um, purpose or the next thing I use this stool for is to just chill in my van. So like here, if I want to sit here and read, I'm sitting on my bed. I use it as a tabletop. So if I want to read, I also use this tabletop to eat. If I have something that I'm eating, um, this, is, this becomes my kitchen table. So I use it as a kitchen table. I use it as a chill spot. I use it... Um, to do multiple things i flipped it over when it's on the soft side i use it uh, with my laptop but when it's on this side and i apologize if this is kind of blurry the sun is out there shining but i use it to just um read to eat my food as a kitchen table i also use this stool as a storage bin inside here um i store things um I love earrings. I wear earrings to um, spruce up my outfits. So I have, and these, and I'll talk about these in a minute as a being a good um, uh, storage space saver. But so I have my earrings. I have bags. Um, as you'll see over here, I have a little trash bag. So my bags serve multi-purposes. Um, I uh, store plastic bags in one of these bins. What's this? Eyeglasses. Um, I can't see without eyeglasses. I store my eyeglasses in here and this bin here. Uh, what else? Um, this is meds. I have my meds in here. Then let's go in here. This is a makeup bag. This is a miscellaneous bag um, that I keep things in. And these two are miscellaneous bags. That's my light bulb. So basically, this is my storage. This, I, so I use this footstool, um, or this stool, it has multiple purposes. It serves as my kitchen table, it serves as my storage bin, it serves as my chill, relax, um, read um, thing, it serves as my work table. So this storage bin, is, I get about five uses, if not more, out of this storage bin. Also, um, I can sit on this storage bin. This storage bin is very sturdy um, and I can sit on it. If I want to use it as a chair, I can I can sit on it. Um, if I want to prop my feet up on it, I can prop my feet up on it. So I get multiple uses out of this uh, storage bin in my van. As I shared, this um, footstool can be used to prop up my feet. I'll put my pillows behind my back, and if I just want to chill, I'm at a Planet Fitness, um, just showered. Um, my socks look uneven because I have um, the hot hands. I have the hot warmers inside my socks, but I can just prop up my feet and just chill. So as you can see, I get multiple uses out of this footstool inside my van. I will consider these bins as a storage hack as well, or as a way to save space. These bins are meant for um, school children. You know how they put the pencils or rulers or whatever inside these bins. I purchased these little um, pencil bins, if you want to call it that, for 97 cent, maybe at the dollar store. I can't remember where I got them from. And these bins are great because I, I store things like my 
my famous eyeglasses, my reader glasses in here. And um, they keep them from being damaged, you know. So I do that. I store the plastic bags. It keeps me from having plastic bags everywhere. Um, I store my earrings. I have thousands of earrings, but just some of my favorites in here. And it keeps everything in its own space. It keeps it nice and organized. And I put it inside this footstool. So I would also recommend that you go out to the dollar store or... Um, you know, one of the stores targeted somewhere and you get these. These are like 97 cents, less than a dollar. And these are a great way to store items that you don't want it to get. Like I don't want my glasses damaged. I don't want my earrings broken. I don't want my bags ripped. So they all have their individual case. I think I probably have about 50 of these things. I do. Um, I have them at my actual storage as well. Now, before I get into another tip, I want to say ignore this. This is my shawl. I don't know if I said this already. I don't know which order I'll put the clips in. But I had a curtain rod up here. And the curtain rod, I kept having to duck. And it was kind of hurting my back, ducking from going from back here to the front. And of course, I can get out on my side door or whatever. But I just go this way. And so, right now, this is my curtain, my shawl. I got, I have a curtain rod and I have curtains, but I just have it down. I'm going to show you all another um, a thing that has multiple pur purposes, which is the zip pillow. The zip pillow. I bought these zip pillows from Ikea. Um they are they were uh, $14.99 um, at the time I thought wow they're expensive but really these are such good quality they're rugged and everything like this I keep my layers in here it's winter time I keep my layers um, so this morning when I got up I took off my layers I put on my clothes just to go in Planet Fitness my clothes I keep my clothes that I'm wearing for the day in here so I put my clothes on that I'm wearing for today and I put my layers in here. At night, I take my clothes off and I put them in my back trunk and I put fresh clothes. Maybe I'll wear the same jeans, but I put a fresh shirt, fresh undies and all that kind of stuff in here. So this is um, a zipper pillowcase. When you have pillows in your van, they must serve multiple purposes. This, this sun glare, I know it's killing y'all because it's killing me. They must serve multiple purposes. I bought this pillow. It's not a... Um, it doesn't it doesn't serve multiple pillows purposes but in general most of my pillows in my van do serve multiple purposes I like to like make my bed and so I like to change out my pillow so sometimes the front pillow uh, will be just a regular pillow but the other pillows are zipper pillows in fact even inside this pillowcase is one of my older versions of a um, not older versions but a pillowcase that my cousin or somebody gave me that's in there that it separates some of my clothes now let's turn to here this same thing this is my bed uh, my my um, bed um, my bed supplies like my I don't use sheets but I use um, towels like beach towels or just regular tiles I find that towels towels have multiple purposes you can shower with a towel not to towel obviously on your seat and um, you can also use it for us to keep your seats warm. You know, you sit. I'm sitting in the back seat. I don't want to feel the cold uh, winter on my leather seat, so I put a, a towel. Towels are very absorbent. If I'm having a drink or something like that, drinking some water, drinking coffee, and I spill it, towels are very absorbent as opposed to sheets. Um, this is a zipper pillowcase as well. This has my extra, I use beach towels or regular towels. As you can see, this is a zipper pillowcase here. I also have a little bitty, little itty bitty, little itty bitty zipper pillowcase. This is where I keep my um, personal supplies, like my underwear and things like that, uh, right in here. Um, usually this goes into one of the larger pillowcases. But when, you, when you're in a small space, um, you want to have something that has multiple uses. So like pillowcases, you don't just want decorative pillows you want decorative pillows that store your clothing and things like that again i'm using a jacket here on my back seat to keep out the sun um, I've tried all different kinds of curtain setups or whatever but a jacket works fine uh, when i'm driving i can let those um what do you call those headrest things down just like the one in the middle is let down but at night I put it up just so people can't look in when I'm sleeping um I did keep my back seats oh I want to show y'all this a lot of y'all have seen this but some people haven't seen this so and it's messy because I've been sitting here 
It's messy, messy, messy. Let me fix it out. Let me straighten it out. My bed lines up perfectly, y'all. It lines up perfectly with my back seat. So that this is how my bed is. This is my bed. And this is what I like to tell people. Um, people wonder how I can live in such a small space. But if you've ever traveled on a long road trip and you went somewhere and it took you eight hours to get there, you sat in your van for eight hours. So it's the same thing I do. I sit in my van. I work in my van. I chill in my van. I worship in my van. You can easily sit in your van for eight hours. And then because it's important to exercise, I just left Planet Fitness. I did not exercise in Planet Fitness. I would usually prefer walking outside just with everything that's going on. But, um that's how i sit in here you know and i can go to a coffee shop which sometimes i do i can go to a library which sometimes i do um uh, but yeah um so pillowcases um uh, must have multiple functions they are functions to rest your back to rest your head but also to store your items okay so pillowcases then over here just over here this is nothing my friend mitts made me i bought this picture from her rest in peace mitts and um yeah let's keep going the final tip i want to share here is my bath bag um i keep it back there in my trunk <clears throat> but what i usually do is i buy a big bundle of uh washcloths i can take a shower Okay, so I can take a shower and dry off with a washcloth. I usually use a hand towel to dry off with. I don't need a big bulky towel. I make my beds up with the big beach towels or the bulky towels. But this was in my bag, so it's crumpled up. But what I do is a washcloth. I cut washcloth. I buy a big bundle of cheap washcloths. Some of y'all may not agree with this tip, and that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I buy a big bundle of washcloths, like really inexpensive washcloths. I cut them into four quadrants, right? four quadrants so this is a washcloth i have a quadrant here right here and then right here and the first um square if you want to say that i use it to wash my face the second square i use it to wash my upper body the third square i use it to wa wash my private area and the fourth square i use it to wash my feet and all that my bottom legs and then i throw the wash rag away now some of y'all may think of that as a waste, but if you think of it, it's not a waste because if I were to wash it and the water that it would take to wash it, it's just easier for me to cut a washcloth to make have multiple uses out of it, to cut, cut it in four squares. Now, <clears throat> if it's a summer, like if I've been, I've been in the van before where I just needed to wash my face. And um, so I'll put some hot water on one of these um, and just, I use water only on my face, not soap or anything. And I'll wash my face with this. And then I may lay it up there on my dashboard and let it dry if I know that's a face thing. So sometimes I keep them longer, but other than that, I don't. So I that's a hack for me. Y'all, um, and okay, so I'm going to end this video, but y'all let me know if you, um, you might not live in a van, but if you live in a small space, what are some of your um, space saving hacks, some of your um, hacks to stay organized? Um, I have a storage and I've shared this on this channel many times before, and I've had some clutter issues with my storage. Um, I recently moved into a smaller storage and I've done a pretty good job of decluttering it. It's still some things I need to do, but I've done it. I threw out a lot of stuff. I participated as a team captain in the uh, December to declutter challenge and um, so I'm proud of the way um, this year is turning out as far as me decluttering but share in the comments below um, some of your storage or space saving hacks that you stay organized in a small space and even if you live in a big house um, it organization is so key so if you like go ahead and share some um, organization tips for living in a small space or living in a brick house or whatever um, if you got anything out of this video um, give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel and i appreciate it and most importantly whatever you do however you do it always 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 take the joy